Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on erythema nodosum. For introduction, erythema nodosum is a skin disorder of acute onset, with eruption of red, tender nodules and plaques, predominantly over the lower extremities, especially the extensor surfaces. It is a form of paniculitis. It is commonly associated with conditions, such as inflammatory bowel disease, infections like streptococcal, tuberculosis, upper respiratory tract infection, and ursiniosis. Sarcoidosis, rheumatological disorders, drug reactions, usually sulfonamides and the oral contraceptive pill. Malignancies, and also pregnancy, for its mechanism. While up to 55% of erythema nodosum is thought to be idiopathic, the predominant cause is assumed to be a hypersensitivity reaction to various stimuli. Immune complexes form after exposure to an antigen, and are deposited in venules around areas of subcutaneous fat and connective tissue. The subsequent inflammation causes the lesions. A number of immunological factors may be related. Reactive oxidative species have been found at lesion sites. Delayed type hypersensitivity histopathology has been found at mature lesion sites. And complement activation has also been implicated. This is a flow chart showing the pathophysiology of erythema nodosum. First the patient is exposed to some stimuli, causing immunological reaction and formation of immune complex. Then the immune complexes are deposited in subcutaneous and connective tissue, causing the erythema nodosum lesion. These lesions are often seen on the shins. Why the lesions appear so frequently on the shins has not been explained. It has been suggested that a combination of a relatively meager arterial supply, combined with a venous system that is subjected to gravitational effects, and has no mechanical pump and an inadequate lymphatic system, favor deposition in that area. For its sign value, Erythema nodosum is not a sensitive or specific sign. However, if found, a review of the common causes is often performed. A recent study has found it to be present in approximately 4% of inflammatory bowel disorder patients. That's all for this video. Thank you.